Friday morning right now. I've driven down last night from Central Illinois to Northern Alabama. Um, I'm here looking for some species of turtles I really haven't gotten a chance to see much of. My first stop was to look for striped neck musk turtles along a river system that I found online. I'm just sort of scouting it out and unfortunately it's all sort of closed to the general public. It's all private property. So that was a bit of a bummer. I then drove a little bit and checked out some Alabama map turtles. Um, I got to see a few of them. Unfortunately, they're all really far away, so I wasn't able to get any good footage of them as well. Right now, my plan is to head into central Georgia and target the loggerhead musk turtle, which is a species I've never seen before, but I've really been wanting to see for quite some time now. If I'm successful with that, I'll head up to northern Georgia and try targeting the striped neck musk turtle again. I've seen the striped neck musk turtle before, um, but it's a really cool species it's one of my favorite turtles so heading to central georgia now to look for the loggerheads really hoping i find one at this first spot it's probably my best bet but if i have no luck there i have a couple other little spots that i might check out as well so keep you guys posted I just got to this creek in Georgia here. Um, I was about to put on my snorkel over there and start snorkeling this little hole here for loggerhead musk turtles. And uh, right when I walked up to the water, Aww. I see this little guy just chilling on a rock. He has some damage on the back of his shell here. This is from um, sort of little territory wars that he's having with other musk turtles. Please stop. I can't let you get close. Can you and th this sort of tells me that I'm probably going to run into a couple more uh, loggerhead musk turtles here because when they're in high abundance in a, in a small area, they tend to scrap with each other a little bit. Really cool turtle. After a couple pictures here, I'm going to release him. So, <clears throat> Give it a snorkel for a little bit. I didn't have any luck. Um, I ran into a river cooter, I guess. Uh, it got away from me. And now I decided to walk upstream a little bit. So I came from down there <clears throat> and I walked up here and it really just sort of opens up. It comes a lot wider, a lot calmer up here. Um, so I'm gonna give this a shot as well. See if I can get any more loggerheads, river cooters, things like that. Probably give it another hour or so, and then maybe check out somewhere else, maybe call it a night, I'm not sure yet. A few moments later. So after about 10 minutes of snorkeling here, I turned up this little river cooter. Turn it over here, you can see those really cool markings on its back. It has some al algae sort of growing on its back here, so the pattern's not showing through very well, but really pretty turtle. You have really pretty eyes on them as well. And uh, yeah, I just got him snorkeling along the bottom there. I was in about two feet of water. And uh, I saw a uh, river cooter about a half hour ago and I wasn't able to catch it. Uh, this guy was a lot, a lot smaller, so didn't get away quite as fast. So I was able to grab this one. I haven't really gotten a chance to hold too many river cooters. They're endangered in Illinois um, and they're about impossible to to find a location where you can go out and grab them anyways. But I got to see some of these guys in Arkansas, uh, mostly some bigger individuals. So it's cool to see one on the smaller side. I would like to see a newly hatched one as well because their colors would be a lot more vivid, but uh, really cool turtle here. I'm gonna take some pictures and then let them go.
So I think I'm gonna call it good for the day. We're under a heat advisory here in Georgia, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the sun. Uh, but yeah, I got to see my lifer loggerhead musk turtles, so that was a first for me. I'm really excited about that. I would like to see a couple more individuals before I leave the area though, so my plan is to stay the night here, and then when I'm up in the morning, my first stop will be the same exact creek. I'm gonna see if I can find some more loggerheads, see if I can get a larger individual, because the one I saw today was a little on the smaller side. Overall, really good day. I really turned things around with a loggerhead. It was really exciting to see, so uh, yeah, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. now the morning I came back to the same creek I was at last night and after about 20 minutes of walking turned up this large male loggerhead musk turtle I'm gonna walk over get into the light here so you guys can see him a little bit better just really really cool turtle huge head sort of depressed back and then Tell it's a male by his tail there he's got a really thick tail he's got battle scars on him from fighting with other turtles see he's missing some of his marginal scoots down around the back end there so this is what i was after here uh, i got a smaller individual yesterday and i came out looking for a bigger guy uh, and yeah this guy's just massive So I just got done snorkeling this little hole over here. I did see a loggerhead over in these riffles. He got away from me somehow. A little bummed about that. No luck over in this hole. I did see a lot of cool fish though. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up um, for here. And then I'm gonna head on over to my next spot. And I'm gonna be snorkeling for the rest of the day. The water here is like really warm. It's really nice. And so I'm not really looking forward to going over to the next spot because I know it's a lot colder there. I do need to try to get a striped neck musk turtle here before I head home uh, back to Illinois. So that's where I'm going. So after about 30 minutes of snorkeling. Who's that Pokemon? Five neck musk turtle. Really pretty little guy. He's coming out of his shell pretty good, so you can see him. His neck there, that's why they call him the striped neck musk turtle right there. Pretty similar to the loggerhead. A little bit prettier color, in my opinion. Uh, but this is just the first little guy I turned up. So I'm going to take some pictures. Then I'm going to be snorkeling here for probably another two hours or so before I head out. So I just found this little guy up by the bank here. He's not doing so hot, uh, so I think he's on his way out, but pretty sure this is an Alabama Shiner right here. But like I said, not doing too good, so I think he's on his last day. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this. Right there is a striped neck musk turtle. There he is right there. Another small guy. It's a plaster on. It's a carapace. Pretty sleek. Just really pretty turtles. Here's their environment right here. It's their habitat. Crystal clear water. It's a lot of fun to snorkel around and walk these creeks and rivers and look for these guys.
think I'm gonna go ahead and just let this guy go right here. Back to what he was doing. So I think I'm gonna call it there for the trip. I just walked around for another half hour or so and just sort of slipped and fell on some rocks. But yeah, I had a really good trip. I got to see basically everything that I was after. My favorite turtles by far were those loggerhead musk turtles. So that was the third species I've gotten to see of Sternothurus. And I still have another three species yet to see in that genus. But yeah, that's it for the trip. I'm heading back now. I have about an eight and a half hour drive left to make. And so I should be getting home around 1.30 or two in the morning. I like turtles. All right.